Uh, how you start a conversation, how you end a conversation, how you start an email and end an email, how close you stand to someone, how you end any form of interaction with them, what you do when someone says something that's emotional or business-like. All of this, common sense, but it falls under the umbrella of soft skills or strategic communication. And today, this morning, I'm going to open a toolbox for you, a toolbox of innovative communication ideas. And you know what? It is common sense. I don't apologize for it. But sometimes you need to be, we all need to be reminded rather than instructed. So, I'm going to move really quickly through this toolbox of ideas. And you are free to use any of them. Or indeed, keep it closed and use none of them. I don't mind. And as I said earlier, you're already great communicators. But I hope to offer you some new ideas that you can use as you interact with your teams. As you grow the most important of relationships that exist around you. To begin our little toolbox journey, we need to make three key assumptions. Now, the first assumption I'm going to make is led by a question. I'm going to ask you a question. If we can have the lights up in the room, show of hands only, don't worry, I won't come and talk to any of you. You're absolutely safe. How many people in the room, and I'm not expecting to see too many hands, would say that primarily their role in business is sales? Anyone? One, two... That's all right. Hands down. Thank you very much. Keep the lights up for me. Keep the lights up for me. Do me a favor, everyone. Humor me. I am, after all, British. Just for a moment, could you all raise your hands? Just everyone in the room, raise your hands. Just do that. Go on, everyone. Everyone. Is the right answer. Hands down. Thank you. We didn't train to be in sales. We don't stand on a used car lot selling cars. We're not salespeople. That's how people think. But you know what? We are. And by the way, we don't appear to be salespeople, that's very important. But we have to acknowledge that we are salespeople. Why? Because every day as we leave our front door in the morning, people look at us and they judge us. Every single day when you walk into a room, people look at you and they judge you. They look at you and decide, do I buy what he or she is saying to me or do I not? We are relentlessly selling ourselves, our messages, our ideas, our opinion. It's a sales job. I'm sorry, it is. We judge each other the whole time. Right now, you're judging me. And if I'm going to be honest, I'm also judging you. At the moment, I quite like what I see, primarily because I'm being paid to be here. But even if I wasn't, <laughs> I would still quite like you, because you seem to be a rather nice bunch of people. We're always selling. Imagine a doctor in the uh, doctor's room, the doctor's surgery, with a patient, an asthma patient, and the doctor says to the patient, I want you to change your inhaler. You know that thing. I want you to change it because the one you're on right now is not good enough. And the patient says to the doctor, uh, you know, it's fine. I like this inhaler. I'm going to stick with it for a bit longer. That doctor did not sell. You walk into a restaurant and you say to the team, it's going really well, but you'd do so much better time-wise if you put a sticky printer in. It would really be good for you. And they go, no, nah, it's all right. It's working fine. Thank you. You did not sell that sticky printer. We're in sales. Assumption number two, I call this the carefully balanced scales. Do you remember in school, in science class, you had those scales and they were very, very delicately balanced. One tiny thing of anything on one side and they would tilt one way or they would tilt the other way. This is our lives. Every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, we start equally balanced, perfectly balanced scales, neutral, 50% equally balanced. Every time in the world of soft skills, you do something good. Conversation just feels right. You remember someone's child's name. You remember their objective. The scales tilt in your favor. Not much, by the way. You go from 50% to, say, 50.1. 50.2. Who cares? But now you're in control of that relationship, of that situation. What happens if things don't go so well? You turn up a little late. Perhaps you say the wrong thing and it just doesn't feel quite right. Conversation doesn't go so well. The scales tilt again. Not much, but they tilt against you. You go from 50% to 49.9, 49.8, who cares? But now you've left neutral territory and you're not in control. So the entire game around soft skills and strategic communication is constantly tilting the scales in your favor. And you know we joked and laughed about the handshake earlier, but guaranteed, if you offer somebody a dodgy handshake, the scales tilt against you just a touch. 